Hello guys and welcome to this first underwear video that I'm doing. Uh, I hope you guys are alive and well, um, because if you weren't alive, you wouldn't be watching this. Unless you're a ghost. This is going off on a tangent. Anyway, uh, so yeah, basically my underwear collection is so large that I'm going to try and break these videos down a little bit. So I'm going to do this first one specifically just on pump underwear, um, because it's one of my favourite brands. And yeah, I've got quite a lot of it really, so we're going to do a bit of a journey and talk about the various ones that I've got. So yeah, let's just go straight into it. First one I've got here is this lovely blue and black number. Uh, this particular one here is actually the first jock strap I ever brought uh, about five years ago. And shockingly, I know it might seem a bit surprisingly, but uh, I never used to actually be a big fan of jock straps before I brought my first one. I just, uh, it weren't for me, I don't know what it was. And then obviously I brought my first one and I've never looked back since. Basically now I love them. Um, but yeah, this particular one, uh, I thought I'd go for something a bit subtle as my first one, hence it's blue and black. Um, but also, yeah, I wanted to try Pump because it just looked like a style that I quite liked. And I soon discovered this is one of the few brands where they actually fit, I find, really well. Uh, it's quite difficult to find brands that I think fit everything nice and comfortably, and this is definitely one of them. So you can see the little pump back there. I've actually not worn this one that much um, since the old days. So yeah, it's more of a kind of a, a memory one, but I still think it's quite hot, really. So yeah, there's that one. Uh, the next one here that I have is, um, this red number here. Now, this particular one I think I brought in a shop. I think I bought it in Prowler in London, Soho. Uh, and I want to go for something obviously a bit more bold uh, as my next one. So I went for red because it's danger and death and that sort of stuff. Uh, obviously the pump band at the back again there, yellow. This is kind of a classic pump one actually. And as you can see, it's got the, uh, the mesh effect there to let a bit of air breathe because you've got to let things breathe, you know, you've got to let it happen down there for the old fella. So yeah, uh, quite nice this one, I like, cool. Um, I've got this one here. Now this one uh, is a nice white, blue and red number. I think this was either a birthday present or a leaving present. Quite interesting that the fact it was a leaving present, uh, almost to say, oh, goodbye, hope you have a lovely time, but make sure you get lots of bum fun. Um, but yeah, I also forgot got a bottle of vodka as well with this. So actually a jock strap and a bottle of vodka is basically a weekend and I'm done, I'm sorted. Uh, but yeah, I like this one because it's like, it's really sporty, uh, goes really well with football socks, being in the locker room with the lads, that sort of vibe. So uh, yeah, quite like this one. Uh, next one here we have is this one. And this one's quite an old one I've had for a while, uh, like a boxer brief style. And, um, I liked this one because once again with the sporty vibe and look it's got little pockets as well in here so you can put things in there like nuts and seeds and small gerbils and, and that sort of thing as well um so yeah quite a thick band as well which i like uh but yeah i mainly wear this one to the gym really these days but i, I do need to get a new one that's kind of in this style really um but yeah had this one for ages this one here so we've kind of got a bit more combination black and red. This is more of my edgy one. So this one goes really well with leather, I find. You might have seen this in a couple of my Instagram pictures actually that I've posted online, if you do follow me on there. So uh, yeah, you can see the pump back there as well. Uh, it's also great to wear when you're going shopping around in the supermarket, um, particularly in the freezer aisle. Honestly, getting that breeze of cold air up the older uh, rear end is lovely. So, uh, but yeah, there's that one. Oh, I've got this one here. Now, this is a kind of a nice white sort of lime-y one. Um, this one, I believe, was a free gift. It was sent to me from somewhere. Can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was free. Um, but yeah, once again, a meshy, but it's quite nice to have one that's a bit lighter, a bit more sort of twinky, I suppose, that vibe, uh, with the air and everything and the little lime pump there. So yeah, I do, I do like this one. This one's good for when you're going to pick apples and that sort of stuff. Ah, I've got this one here. Now this one was actually from a, a particular set that was released that had these kind of pump lines that you can see here. The campaign was really hot. It was like guys that are really oily and lifting tires and rope and stuff. So I was like, oh, I need to get it. But what's good about this kind of boxer brief one is that it's uh, got, yes, 
it is also a jock as well. So it's good for kind of day wear and night wear. Yeah, so I do like this one, um, but I actually haven't worn it that much and I don't know why. I should wear it more. I might wear it tomorrow. So what have we got next? So, uh, ah, this one here. Yes, so this is actually one of my favorite ones. Uh, I like it because it's a bit of a hybrid style of other ones. So you remember got the jock one there. So, yeah, so basically, um, so basically, yeah, it's um, got a nice, I like it because it's got different sections. So you kind of got a bit of mesh there, separation there, gray there. Feels very different. And this actually was for a while my lucky pen. And I used to wear these when I'd go on nights out. Shameless to say, they would never actually end up being that lucky, and I'd always end up in a graveyard talking to a tree. Uh, so yeah, these ones. Uh, I think I got these ones in a shop somewhere as well. I saw them and I thought, oh, really bright and a bit different to other ones that I got there. So I thought I'd go for these. A bit sporty as well, at the base there. So yeah, that's them ones. Um, so yeah, that's basically it really. Uh, for this little video. I hope that was enjoyable. Uh, let me know if you want me to do more underwear videos and I'll carry on doing them. So do that subscribe and comment thing, whatever it is. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay safe. I've just realized that my lower half is now naked and the window is open.